everybody welcome back to my youtube channel today we are going to do another lesson and today we are going to do king number two past pawns now before i review this i would recommend you to watch this video if you can't find it i am gonna put it in the description so you guys can just press on the link and you'll get to the video but since i'm not gonna watch it in this video you can do it on when you're doing the chess club lessons so please subscribe and give a like and most of all enjoy okay right now this c2 pawn is in a past pawn so it, has, it moves to square up now this pawn usually when it has a past pawn it is very huge advantage and now we keep on moving but it is actually a kind of kind of the pawn didn't promote but now the king gets to take all the pawns and yeah it gets to take the pawns like distracts it since it's so big of an advantage okay um usually a more powerful is protected past pawn so let's see this after these moves we are attacking this pawn since it is not protected by pawns now if the king went to c5 and b4 then the pawn is not being blocked anymore so the pawn can simply go to b7 b6 b7 and b8 without being catched now we take and finally we scoot over and there is a little disturbing moves but after these moves white gets to take the pawn and get a queen okay now usually there is a trick for this and an easy way to see is first go to the diagonal okay so to b8 now draw down across and up that's a full square and if it is if the king is on the line of the square or in the line of the square then it is then the king will catch up and yeah okay um right now the position is actually equal but it is two pawn against one and one pawn against two pawns so let's see we slowly do this and now we take back and now we can draw the square and if we move up it is still a draw since after this move we can go to c7 and then take on b8 so that's why the king took the pawns and now both of them are gonna promote okay usually if you have rooks in the end game they're really good behind past pawns and now let's see why since it's kept on protected and now since it is blocking we simply there is a book where it teaches you if the king is on the eighth rank and the rook is also on the same rank just move it away since it cannot take because if he takes we simply go to d8 and it's checkmate now after if he goes to like f8 a rook can go to d8 with a check and it is forced with the rook take and queen takes it is checkmate pretty much but there are other things but you still win a rook um usually you want your past pawns to be away from the enemy so which side should we take of course the away so we keep on getting away from it and now we ch chomp their pawns and now we're closer to black pawns we take and we now after some simple moves we can promote okay so sometimes there's a pawn that goes very high but is 
blocked by a pawn. So now we can sacrifice and the pawn can take since we can now promote. But if he doesn't take, we can take their pawn and it's pretty much the same thing. Okay. Um, usually if it's like 3v3 with pawns, it's usually draw. But this is pretty famous one. So we break through it. Yeah, this is one of kind of, um, it, it's very famous one. If he takes on f5, we take on g7. If they take on h6, we move up. And yeah, we get a queen. Now, it says, okay. So it says right here, I'm going to revise it. And... Right now, it, uh, I'm trying to, okay, it doesn't look that good for black, yeah. Um, it doesn't look that good for black, so right now, we sacrifice, and basically, we can pretty much take, and we can still catch up, and take, and then now, this is a pass pawn. Now sometimes in this position, usually in the middle game, it's bad, double pawns. But usually in the end game, some cases, it's actually very good, since it can't go next to each other because of the bottom pawn. So he can only take the bottom pawn, but the, but the upper pawn can promote. And that's how you complete the lessons. Thank you for watching. Bye.